there are nine types of scans on the THD-75. One of the main functions of all of them is how it resumes after it detects a signal on the frequency. So the first thing we're going to do is cover that. So we're going to go into Menu, and then we're going to click on TXRX, Scan, Resume, which is Menu 130, and we have three options. We have Time, which when it detects a signal on the frequency, it'll stop there for a set amount of time, and then continue on even if this still a signal on the frequency. We have carrier, which it will stop when it detects a signal on the frequency, and it will stay there until the signal disappears for a certain amount of time. And then we have seek, which it'll go until it finds the signal on the frequency, and then it'll stop the scanning and stay there until you start to scan it again yourself. So we're going to do time here and demo that one right now. So we'll select time and then you'll see number one on 131 we have resume digital which is for the D star. We have time restart which is for the time parameter that we're going to test right now. And that goes from one to ten seconds. The default is five seconds and I'll leave it on that. And then you have carrier restart. So after you lose the carrier, it'll restart after two seconds is a default, but that's the same uh, values that you had for the time, which is one through 10. And we'll leave priority scan because it's another whole option later. All right, and the best way to demonstrate this is to go ahead and put it in megahertz scan, which is one of the scan types. So we'll just go ahead and click and hold on the megahertz button and get it going and that basically just keeps scanning around within that one megahertz that you have selected so I'll go ahead and click transmit on the THD 74 hit 75 it'll go to five seconds and it'll go on even though I continue to hold the transmit button and it's transmitting the whole time and it still has a signal it'll move on after five seconds. So we'll go ahead and stop that. We'll go into menu, scan, and we'll go back up to resume, which is menu 130 again. We'll switch that to carrier, and if we scroll down here you see carrier restart is two seconds. So it'll, after it loses a carrier or a signal on the frequency, it'll continue on after two seconds. So we'll start megahertz by clicking on the megahertz button again, which is the asterisk, and holding until the scan starts. And now I'll click down on the transmit button, and we'll count the five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you see that it continues to stay. It doesn't go on until I let go. I'll let go of it now. Two seconds later, it starts to scan back up again. So that's the difference between the time and the carrier. So we'll stop that, go back into menu, go to scan, go back up to resume, select seek. Then we'll start the megahertz scan again. Now if you watch, you see in the bottom left hand side it says megahertz scan. As soon as it detects a signal, that'll turn off. and it'll stay on that frequency until you start to scan again yourself. So those are the three different types. And that was your first scan, which was megahertz scan. All right, I did forget something important with the megahertz scan earlier, and that is you have to be in VFO for megahertz scan. You can't be in memory. So make sure you click VFO before you start the megahertz scan. All right, the next one we're going to do is band scan. Band scan, you just click on the VFO and hold, and that'll put you in band scan. 
I'm going to stop that. And if you click the arrow to the right, that'll put you in the next band up. And then we can scan that band by just clicking the hold in VFO. And that'll put you in band scanned on that band. And so forth. You just move, push the arrow to the right, push the arrow to the right, and it just switches your bands. If you want to go the other direction, push to the left, and that'll take you down. There's your different bands, and they're back where we started. All right, the last VFO scan we're going to do is program scan. And we'll demonstrate that in the 440 band. So we'll push the right arrow and hold down until it switches bands. Then push it again and hold until it switches bands. And we'll just work up to our 440 band. And as you can see, it says program number zero. So I've already programmed in the upper and lower for this program. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how we do that. So let's go ahead and get out of that one. Make sure we're outside of it and we'll hit function memory. And then you scroll to the location you want to put it in. And then you push enter. And you'll enter that frequency that we were on. Then we'll click back. And we'll put in another frequency. And then we'll go function, memory, and choose our next location, the upper bounds, and push enter. And there's your 455 megahertz frequency in your lower and upper. Then we'll just hit the back arrow. And there we are in program number one now. And you'll notice as you scroll through these, program number zero, if you're in the frequency range of that program, it'll automatically show that below. And to go ahead and do a program scan, we'll just go ahead and hit VFO and hold, and that'll be in the program scan. The program scan is the same as the band scan. The only difference is if you are within the frequency of a program, it'll do a program scan. If you're outside and not within it, it will do a band scan. Let me demonstrate that. So right now we're in program zero and it's doing a program scan. So we'll stop that, we'll switch bands. Now we have no program, we'll just hit VFO and I'll do a band scan instead. Next we'll do memory scan. And this is where it can get interesting. So to start a memory scan, we'll push memory, get us some memory mode. And then if you push and hold the arrow to the right, you'll say it says air bands. If you push and hold it to the left, it'll say all groups. So all groups is the bottom selection and also the default selection. If you push and hold to the right, it'll either say group zero or I named it air bands. If you push and hold again to the right, it'll say Chattanooga. Push and hold to the right, it'll say Charlotte. Push and hold to the right, Rockton, Illinois. Push and hold to the right, it says Xenia, Ohio. So that's what I've done there is I've programmed each section of my memory with different names. So we'll do the first one, which is all groups. And then we'll just push and hold memory. And that'll scan all our groups. And just so you know, if you don't want a certain memory channel to be scanned, that's where your lockout comes into play. All right, we'll stop that. Now if I switch it over to air bands and then start the memory scan, you notice that it'll stay in the air band. It won't do any of the other channels, just that air band one. And we got a plane coming in. So we'll switch this over to Chattanooga. We'll push and hold memory. And that one will scan just the Chattanooga group. And so on. Basically they're all the same. 
The next one is Link Grip Scan. And to get to that one, we go to Menu, go up to Memory, Memory Channel, and then go down to Group Link, that's 203, click Enter. And I already have Air Bands in here. And by the way, Group Link will not work unless you actually have something in there. So let's go ahead and um, add another one into it. So you just click Enter. And then we'll scroll down. Let's skip it over so you can see it jumping back and forth. So let's go to Xenia, Ohio, and click Enter. So you'll see it jumping back and forth between those two groups. So we'll go back and menu to get out. Now if we click and hold megahertz, that'll do your group link scan. So you'll see, you will watch it and it'll do Chattanooga. Oh, by the way, this is a good demo. I forgot I have this in Seek, so let's go ahead and change that back to Scan, Resume, which is menu 130. We'll change that back to Time, and then we'll get out of the menu, and then we'll start the Link Group Scan again. So just click and hold the megahertz button while you're in memory. You'll see that go between 1 and 4, 1 and 4, 1 and 4. I don't have many repeaters in Xenia, so it doesn't stay there very long. All right, priority scan, basically what that is is whatever frequency you put in priority. So we'll go to menu, memory, memory channel, view list, and then we'll scroll back till we see priority. Whatever frequency is in that priority, location, it will alternate between that one and the current scan you're doing. So if you're doing megahertz scan, it'll jump between primary and megahertz scan. If you're doing band scan, it'll jump between the band and the primary. And where we turn that on is back in TXRX under scan, which is 1, 3, is four. So this is menu 134, priority scan. We'll just turn, click and turn that on. And so now we can do group link scan. It'll do the group link scan, but it'll also do the priority in it consistently. So it just adds, tags that on to the other ones and gives priority to that frequency. So let's stop that. One thing I did forget on priority scan, and I'll demonstrate that now, is that it actually indicates when you have the priority turned on so that when you start a scan you'll know that it's going to do priority scan as well as the regular scan that you have it on. So if you go to menu, scan, priority scan and turn it on, you'll see there by the time that it puts a P there, a yellow P, letting you know that priority is on and that if you initiate a scan it'll be doing checking the priority frequency as well as the scan that you're on. Okay, the other scan we want to do is call scan. And what that does is basically alternate between the VFO you're on and the call frequencies. So we'll push and hold that. Or between the memory channel you're on and the call frequency. If you have it on memory, and one caveat to this is you have to be on a, a memory channel that actually can transmit on. If you're on like airband like I was on earlier, then it will not go into call. But if you're on a one that can actually transmit on it and click and hold call, it'll sit there and alternate between your memory and your call. Okay, the other scan we have is weather scan which is similar to memory, but there's two ways you can initiate a weather scan. One of them is actually go to the memory channels. So click memory. And just like we could switch bands in VFO, we can switch groups in memory by clicking and holding the right arrow and it'll swap groups to group two. 
So I'm click and hold the left, and it's going to go to group one. Click and hold again, go to group zero. Click and hold again, it'll go to weather. So then we just push memory scan. And it'll start the weather scan. All right, and then the other option is go into turn that off, go to menu, TX, RX, scan, and then weather scan, which is 1360. Click that and turn that. And then the options we have is 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 60 minutes. So basically, at the 30 minutes or 15 minutes of no activity, it'll go ahead and switch to the weather scan. So you just put it on 15, and then just go back, and now the menu. Then you can have it like on VFO, and then in 15 minutes, it'll switch to the weather scan. We're not going to wait for that. The last scan we'll do is D-star scan repeaters, or DR rep scan. So we'll hit a button to switch it over to the A band and then we'll hit digital mode and by the way it doesn't have to be on A band that's just something I decided to do I didn't want you to think that was something special then we'll hit function digital and hit scan now we have options here we can go nearby repeaters world region country and region group or hotspot so we're going to do nearby repeaters, and right now it'll instantly start scanning up. If you want to go the other direction, we can push the down arrow, and now it'll scan, scan downwards. Since there's not that many nearby, you can't really tell what I'm, whether it's going up or down. But just by pushing the arrow, you can change direction. You can also do it with the encoder button on the top by just turning it, and it'll switch directions also. To stop it, just push enter. Mode, so it's in DR. And then we'll go function memory. Oops. How'd I do that? Have a program. If you're within the program, the only difference is when you hold VFO. Ah, nuts. I'm taking my radio and going home.